Hello, and welcome to Heartland Heliport. This is your safety briefing for today's flight to Lundy. Please watch and listen very carefully. Before you start your journey, please turn off your mobile phones and any other electronic equipment you might have with you. And please be aware that smoking is not permitted anywhere at the landing area or in or around the aircraft. Embarkation. When the helicopter is on the ground, the rotors will be turning. But before you get airborne, you will need to embark. So, before approaching the aircraft, if you have a hat or scarf, please make sure it is secure or in a pocket. And please fasten all loose clothing. The ground crew will direct you to and from the helicopter. Please follow all the instructions from the ground crew. They are here for the safety of you and your fellow passengers and to get you loaded as quickly as possible. When boarding the aircraft, one passenger will be seated in the front next to the pilot. Please keep your feet clear of the pedals and do not touch any of the controls. A headset is provided to communicate with the pilot. Six passengers will be seated in the rear cabin and one of you will wear a headset for communication with the pilot. Never approach or attempt to leave the helicopter unless instructed to by the ground crew. Always approach and leave the helicopter from the side or front. Look out for the blades and never walk anywhere near the rear of the helicopter. Keep your arms low and do not wave to others. Seat belts. If you are seated in the front, this has a four-point harness. It fastens like this. is tightened like this and released like this. Rear cabin passengers have standard lap belts. They are fastened like this, tightened like this and released like this. There is a child's lap strap for infants, which releases the same way. The ground crew will ensure all your seat belts are correctly fastened before takeoff. Keep your seat belts fastened throughout the flight until the helicopter has landed on the ground and the ground crew have opened the doors. Lastly, please be aware that motion sickness bags are in the door pockets. Emergency procedures. In the very unlikely event of an emergency, you will need to know the following. Life jackets. As your flight today is over water, life jackets are provided. In the front cabin, your life jacket is stored between the front seats. In the rear cabin, they are stored in a box under the rear facing seat. One additional life jacket for infants up to three years old is also provided and is stored in the rear cabin. Only put on your life jacket if you are instructed to do so. To don the life jacket, place the life jacket on your lap with the flap facing down. Pass the long cords around your waist twice and tie the ends.
open the flap and pull the jacket from the pouch and pull it over your head. Never inflate the jacket until you are clear of the aircraft. Once out of the aircraft, to inflate the jacket, pull smartly down on the red inflation tab. Should you have to manually inflate your life jacket, or to top it up, blow into this tube. A whistle is attached to the jacket for attracting attention, and a light which automatically turns on. Remember, never inflate your life jacket inside the helicopter. Brace position. If told by the pilot or rear passenger with the headset to adopt the brace position and you are in the rear cabin facing forwards, lean forwards and protect your head like this. If you are rearward facing, sit upright and protect your head like this. In the front cabin, stay normally seated and protect your head like this. Finally, before releasing your seatbelt or opening the doors, wait until the helicopter has landed and the blades have stopped, or you are instructed to do so. Doors and emergency exits. Normally, the ground crew will open and close the doors for you. You do, however, need to know how to do this in an emergency. To open the front cabin door, rotate the handle up at the back like this. In the unlikely event that the front door is jammed and doesn't open, locate the red handle here. Lift the yellow latch, push it forwards and push the door outwards. To open the rear cabin door, rotate the handle up at the back, like this. In the unlikely event that the rear door is jammed and doesn't open, locate the red handle, lift the yellow latch, pull it rearwards and push the door out. Remember, the door jettison mechanisms should only be used in an emergency and only if you are instructed to do so. Exit routes. Remember, always exit the helicopter to the left or right and look out for the blades. Never go near the rear of the aircraft. Safety briefing cards are located in the aircraft. Thank you for flying with us today. Enjoy the flight and your stay on Lundy.